picked up this uh, Can-Am DS90. Uh, this is a two-stroke uh, 2004 model. And just recently, it started uh, having a lot of white corrosion around the shock and the rear suspension area that, that looks strange. I got to check in and the battery is actually leaking. I thought that was also strange as well. So what I, I started looking at is maybe the voltage regulator went out. So what I'm going to do is show you how to check that um, and how you can reinstall one on this particular unit. It's very much similar for all motorcycles, ATVs, any real small engine type applications. So here you can see the corrosion around the shock area. It's, uh, it's actually quite a bit. You know, this is battery acid just coming down on all the, the linkage going to the brake and going on to the swing arm and everything. What's happening is is the voltage regulator is, is over volting the battery and it's causing the battery to, to bubble the, the sulfuric acid mixture in this battery right at the top. Um, it, it probably ruined the battery already. Uh, we'll see after the fact if that's the case. For the most part, this is a process for doing any voltage regulator or rectifier on a, on a mini bike, a moped, a motorcycle, an ATV. So first thing we want to do is uh, just find our battery post in here. Um, it's under this back fender here. I won't show you that. You, you all know what a battery looks like. I'm going to put my positive and negative tabs, pins here and get that in the battery. So right now, this battery is weak, but it is at 12 volts. And what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna start this thing. And I don't know if this battery will turn it over, but we do is, we start it right now, it's at 12.01 it's at volts. So I don't know if you can see that real good, but as I was revving it up, and that's, this is just about right above clutch engagement. I mean, you can see I'm trying to run, run my foot over here and go over the parking brake, but we're getting up pretty close to 15 volts. So we know that's too high. Um, really the voltage never should give about a little bit above 14. So I can tell that this voltage regulator is bad. Um, so what we'll do is pull the voltage regulator out and buy a new one. So this unit here, uh, had a cover over the front and uh, I've taken it off already so you can see where where the uh, voltage regulator in this model is these things are uh, pretty much any of the small kids ATVs are made by somebody else um, usually a Taiwanese or a Chinese company the voltage regulator is right here it says uh, jet 100 on top of it so what we're going to do, bring you in a little closer to see that, is this guy right here, this Jet 100. Turn that on so you can see that. This needs to be replaced. Um, this is letting too much voltage go to the battery, and it's actually uh, destroying our battery, which it might have done already, um, but we'll see. So, pretty easy, simple fix here. The problem is, is getting this part is, is relatively difficult. It's hard to find, and it, the ones that I have found are fairly expensive. So what I'm going to do here is, is replace this with more of a, a standard voltage regulator version and uh, just make sure that the pinout is right on it. We can switch these if we need to um, to make sure the pinout is right, and I'll check all that when I get a new one in. So when I get it here, I will uh, show you the process. Well, a few days ago, uh, I showed you how to check your voltage regulator, and finally I got my part in here. Well, I went through and, and cross-referenced a bunch of parts, and a lot of times on any older vehicle, you kind of got to do that um, to get to get what you need. So this here says Jet 100 on it. Um, it's used. This is a Herchi model, um, rebranded as a Can Am. It's a 2000 and four model and I found that the uh, Yamaha voltage regulators are actually the same um, and it'll work for this unit so this is a Caltric um, brand you know generic brand RR245 voltage rectifier regulator and uh, 
I'm going to install that today and then uh, show you how that works. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> we literally take this one off. This one here should plug right in and uh, be mounted. It's a little bit different size, a little different format, but the reality of it is that the pinout is the same and it's going to do the same job as we need it to do, which is charge our battery without boiling it over. Okay, so this is the old one. And the new one literally plugs in. Okay, so that's what happens. <laughs> Super simple. Um, we're going to put a screw in here, back into the location it was in. Um, it fits right back in. Is it? Okay, I'm going to turn a little bit sideways just so it fits nicer. Um, and there we have it. So, as you can see, we've got the new voltage regulator rectifier in the front electric box area. Um, I'm going to tuck these wires back in. We'll get the cover back on. But what I wanted to do was show you that the... Uh, the unit is actually working and I need to prove that for myself as well. Last time just doing this we are up in the almost the 15 range so this appears to be doing quite a bit better um, and hopefully we won't boil our battery over anymore. So there it is. If you're enjoying this content please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.